But something else that I want to show you that for me, like just made me really want to choose this to work on. We're going to look at a couple of forehands that, that you were just hitting uh, during the warm up. This is, is fascinating to me. <laughs> and th we're going to see a bunch of different variations of you using what I like to call a fake follow through. Meaning there's like the natural path of the racket and once the momentum of the racket starts to carry through the ball in a certain direction, it, physics you know, says it wants to continue in that direction. And for you on this particular swing, that's lateral and across oh. your body. And you're right, like you're really late on this shot. Right. And so this is your natural follow through here. But watch what you do afterwards. Whoop. <laughs> and you, you swoop the racket up. So in, in real time, there's like two or three different planes of swing. You see, see what I'm talking about? So you like hit through the ball and then you like bring the, bring the racket up here. Because I know I didn't finish. <laughs> exactly, because you're like, oh, well, every, every teaching pro has always told me, finish high over my shoulder. And so you have this picture of like, you need to finish here. But the reality of like how you hit the ball is very different from where you know you're supposed to finish. And we'll, we'll talk about that. But there's, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple different variations of that. So a little bit of the same, not quite as uh, stark on this one, but kind of high in weight. And it was kind of more just straight across. And like on that ball, that, mm -hmm. that height, I took it almost at my shoulder, right? Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I'm within what? I mean, two feet from the fence. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty back already. For sure. Right, and so you, you can't beat yourself too up, up too much about this because you made good effort here to get back from this position, right. three, four feet behind the baseline. To all the way back here. Could you have moved a little more efficiently? Yeah, probably. So like, I could have, you should have been even further, you're telling me, optimally. The better position you can get in, the better chance you have of, of hitting a solid shot. So, so like my question to you is, and I mean, you've got, you know, probably six feet of room that you, you could have used that's available to you that you just didn't. Uh, and it could be you didn't have time because of the shot. But when you look at your footwork pattern, used a bunch of uh, side shuffles yeah, here. I didn't cross. So you, you could have crossed and gotten, gotten back a little bit faster. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me show you a couple more swing variations. So here's, here's a swing where you're in balance, you're in position, and I want you to watch the, the flow of your, your swing. There's a, it's not as stark as the first one I showed you, but there's yeah. kind of two segments to the swing. There's like the initial hit and then after contact, there's like the, right. the, the follow through phase. Me. Right, exactly. It's not a continuous smooth uh, swing. To me, that's like the um, My hiccup. The most reoccurring thing. Here's kind of similar to that first one. Um, where you're close, jammed, hit, and then lift the racket up and kind of finish where you know you're supposed to. Again, yeah, you, we call it a hitch. We could call it kind of a, like a detour. Um, like I said before, kind of a fake follow through where you're, you're hitting through and then a second like motion, which is really completely superfluous. Like it's not actually part of the natural swing of the racket at it's all. It's not anymore, the ball's gone. Exactly, yeah, 100% accurate. So this is um, independent of footwork. Being out of position makes it worse, like accentuates it but you do it even when you're in balance. And for me, as far as improving your forehand is concerned, this is, this is the big thing. I need to go out more on that. For me, the, the cause, what's happening, mm. is somewhere right about here, <clears throat> you're tensing and tightening your, your hand and your forearm. And so that's causing the, so my racket went it's causing a quick, like, turn of your hand and of the racket right here and then you're trying to like smooth it out and finish like fluidly like, like i know what to do in my brain but yes. my body is not doing it. it yes exactly yeah yeah and so there's kind of like a uh uh almost kind of um a fight between what your brain knows you should be doing and but what your body is doing I'm instead. I'm the other way, not know what I'm doing in hitting. <laughs> but that's not how well, it is. Not many people are that blessed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you see what I'm talking about? Yes. So, for me, uh, what, 
what we finished the morning on is is what how you need to train yourself yeah. like the the framework of the swing we just saw like your setup your contact yeah. point where you ultimately finished yeah. like those are all like check 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 but in the middle there is this is this tight like tense like um uh i don't know what what it, you want to call it and so we need to if we smooth that out your forehand will improve tremendously it'll be much more efficient you'll get much more out of it okay well that's the goal and it'll be easier to swing so let's work on that Great. <laughs> so let's uh let's go to the service line and would love to see some smooth slow shadow swings just like we did earlier this morning for right now i'd love to see you start with your ready position and, and move through your, your, your full swing for me. Yep, exactly. From take back, to dropping the racket, to contact, to follow through. And slow down just a little more than that last swing. That's great, that's great. And just like this morning, I want you to focus on the tension in your hand and in your forearm. And I, want, I would like you to lessen it on each repetition as you move through. Good. So here's how you're, this is like your last two of them. Right now you're, you're kind of segmenting the different parts. You're like, okay, here's my racket drop, here's contact, just follow through. All the positions are great, but now I'd like you to start to make them one, exa exactly, one continuous motion. So no more, no more pit stops. Exactly. Yep. No faster, but just simply more continuous. All right, we're going to go through a, a set of three uh, swings now. Your first two are going to be slow shadow swings, just like the one you just did. Once the racket begins to drop, keep it moving all the way through. And then after your second one, I'm just going to toss a ball. It's going to bounce. And I, I want you to execute the exact same swing, but with the ball there. So two shadow swings, slow, relaxed, continuous movement. The third one is going to be the same speed, the same tension, the same everything. Good job. Again, two shadow swings. My toss bounced into you a little bit. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a bit more space. You did a nice job controlling the tempo and it was nice and calm. Yep, same swing. Okay, good, nice job. Okay, here's a shadow swing. I want you to watch the tip of your racket and how it moves. We're just going to look for any difference between your shadow swing and the actual swing. There's just a little bit of quickness at the end here. You, it, was, it was smooth. It was good. Mm, I still didn't go square. It was a little tilted. Uh, that's okay. I really am just focusing <clears throat> on, on the fluidity mm -hmm. of your movement with your racket. This is good. Like I give this an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Um, right through contact, there's just a little bit of excessive uh, turning of your forearm in your hand that just it just wasn't necessary like that one right there this this is the this is your last <laughs> actual hit yeah and so this from from here to here is just a little bit turning uh forced and you're you're, you're just kind of making it you're mm -hmm. muscling it over instead of just allowing the racket to move Go through. on its own slow it down a little bit let's keep we're going to keep going through that sequence of Shadow swings and then a, a drop and a hit. Nice job. Two more. No faster than that. That's nice. One more at that speed. And then when I drop the ball, you're going to just let your hand, your forearm, your racket move smoothly. A little bit, a little bit of quickness too there. It's not the same as the shadow swings. Your shadow swings, there's one continuous smooth motion. And the hit, there's just a little bit of that turning over of your, your hand and your forearm. Two more shadow swings, and then I'll toss to you again. And I want you to replicate the shadow swings with the ball there. One more. Make that same swing. It's pretty good. This is still a little bit of acceleration. It, it's, it's close. It's very close. Like, I'm nitpicking a little bit, but I don't want you to lean in that direction. Do you feel it? I feel like I was stopping with something. <laughs> it's not me. This is the, the best like I've seen you execute uh, so far, as far as the fluidity of the, 
the swing. It was pretty, pretty continuous and just maybe a, maybe a tad of muscling right, right there after contact, which as you pointed out before, is doing nothing for the ball. The ball's already gone, but I give this a nine out of 10 on, on execution. If we can make your baseline executions like that, um, it would be tremendous. Just to remind you like where our baseline is now. Well, yeah, that one, I just... <laughs> I mean, it's jarring and like different directions of momentum. Like I, was the ball, I was going after ball that was a sure, sure. which is a drop fee. It was a tough shot, but remember the one in balance. Let's find that one where you were yeah. in the right spot. Yeah, I just hit it before. Here we go. Like watch the, there's a deviation of your, how your racket's moving. That was a little force. Exactly. You can see how you're kind of whipping the racket around like quickly. And I twist it too. And that's, that's what we're trying to get away from. Okay, let's do, uh, just a couple more here. Let the racket do the work. Yes. Oh, your racket and your body. Um, your, your core, your, your torso, your hips, like that should be really powering the shot. And for the most part, between your shoulder and your forearm, or your hand, that should just be uh, delivering, delivering the energy forward to the ball. Good job. Two more shadow swings, please. Good. Keep that same tempo, that same fluidity of movement. Pretty good, pretty good. A little bit of force over. Where do you, tell me, where do you feel it? Where do you feel it? I don't know why, when I, after I contact, I have to do this. <laughs> just keep going out. Yeah, I mean, if, if, you think about, if you think about it, show me contact real quick. Where's contact? So if I'm here, for whatever reason, at that last right. shot, so th if I you, did this. If you think about it, your racket's coming from here. Yeah, right. So there's already upward, like you need, don't need to add any more. Right. Like it's already coming upwards. You're also already turning. So the racket wants to continue this way. So the whole like finish over your shoulder. It doesn't need help. It shouldn't need any help, right? So the the rest of your framework, it, it's on the right path. You just have to let it go there. Could I do one where I'm just down here? Just sure. Yeah, we can try that. One. Yeah. Like I'm just here, like this. Slow it down a bit. That's good. The way you just said it is perfect. It doesn't need any help. Like there's no need for you to muscle it over yeah. there. It's it's it. it's going to go there if you just let it, yeah. let it go through space. <laughs> one more. Same thing. Pretty good. Let's go back to no man's land. Two more. One more. And then when the ball is there, you're going to do exactly the same motion. Same speed, same everything. Good, Jim. Nice job, nice job. One more. Same speed, same everything. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, here's the one you just did. Really nice flow to that last one. Here's the hit. So you can see the, you're just letting the racket do what it wants to do now. Nice, Jim. <laughs> Well, now, now you know what, what we need to do. Yes. Right? Uh, and for me, like, this is the biggest framework element for your forehand that needs to be improved. I think the timing is, is, a, is close, closely related to the, the tension part of it. Now we know what to work on. That's, that's the first and sometimes the mo most difficult part. 